So here's some tips about Tesla charging and your all-in cost. So right now, this is your Tesla wall connector, and that's the fastest way to charge a Tesla at home. Now, did you know that 63% of folks in the US own a home? So for those of you who do not have a garage, you can charge at a reliable Tesla supercharger. The average time at a supercharger per Tesla, 26 minutes. But for most of us on a day-to-day -day basis, it could be even less than that. And you can charge at your home, again, if you can. Now the price, that is $420. Plus you have to pay for installation. I paid $450 to have it properly set up with my home's breaker box. Number two, save money by charging overnight. So if you're charging your Tesla, you can schedule that charging through your wall connector to begin automatically overnight. That'll save you by allowing your Tesla to use what's called off-peak hours, the lesser times to use electricity. Number three, on average, I spend anywhere from $40 a month, that's it, in charging to $90 a month per vehicle. It really depends on how much you drive that month, right? And number four, the savings. I save between these two Teslas, 200 to 250 dollars every single month so the charging speed at home really fast especially when you're charging at home you don't even need to think about it usually my charging takes about an hour or maybe four to five it really depends on how low my battery is but again i'm charging overnight so i'm sleeping so that really doesn't matter to me if i forget to charge if there's a power outage or an emergency I can quickly charge at a Tesla supercharger. So it's really that easy. Tesla charging at home, how much you save, how much you spend, and your all-in cost on hardware. You also get a free charger right now at the time I'm making this video if you buy certain Teslas, the premium Teslas. So check that out on the Tesla website as well. Now you know.